Good morning. Let's begin with an overview of the data. Yesterday, CDC reported more than 33,000 new cases of COVID-19. Our seven-day average is about 26,300 cases per day, and this represents an increase of nearly 70% from the prior seven-day average. The seven-day average of hospital admissions is about 2,790 per day, an increase of about 36% from the previous seven-day period. And after weeks of declines, seven-day average daily deaths have increased by 26% to 211 per day. Today, Dr. Fauci and I want to pr provide some perspective about these numbers and how we should be thinking about where we are at this critical moment in the pandemic. There is a clear message that is coming through. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. We are seeing outbreaks of cases in parts of the country that have low vaccination coverage because unvaccinated people are at risk and communities that are fully vaccinated are generally faring well. You can see the patterns of local outbreaks in the slide of community transmission. The blue and yellow counties have low or moderate transmission. The orange and red counties have substantial to high transmission. On the left, you can see where we were just a short month ago and compare it to where we are now on the right. In the last week, 10% of counties have moved into high transmission risk in the red and 7% of counties have moved into substantial risk in the orange. Those counties most frequently correspond to counties with low vaccination rates. When we look over time, we can put these increasing cases in perspective. In January, shown in the middle of the slide, we were averaging nearly 200,000 cases per day. The entire country was in a high level of transmission. You can see that from January to June, as you move from left to right on the slide, we made remarkable progress, where the percent of counties with high transmission decreased, as shown by the decrease in red and increases in blue and yellow. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, which is where we are today, you can see the recent growth in cases where the red and orange are again increasing. So while we are in a far better position than we were in January through April, this increase in red area is giving us all a reason to double down and get more people vaccinated. The good news is that if you're fully vaccinated, you are protected against severe COVID hospitalization and death and are even protected against the known variants, including the Delta variant circulating in this country. If you are not vaccinated, you remain at risk. And our biggest concern is that we are going to continue to see preventable cases, hospitalizations, and sadly deaths among the unvaccinated. Lastly, I wanna reiterate the importance of getting fully vaccinated. I wanna reiterate that people uh, who got the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are most effective, especially when against the Delta variant, when given as two shots in a series. Both vaccines are most effective two weeks after the second dose, with each exceeding 90% effectiveness against severe disease, hospitalization, and death in real-world studies. Not completing the series puts those partially vaccinated at risk of illness. We encourage that people get vaccinated on schedule three or four weeks after your first dose. But if you are beyond that window, I want to reiterate, there is no bad time to get your second shot. Do it for yourself, your family, and for your community. And please do it 